Hello, happy spring. No snow today, that's exciting. All right, today we're gonna make dandelion shortbread, which is very interesting sounding to me. I'm just gonna show you quickly. I think most of us know what dandelions look like, but just to be on the safe side. So their stem is a little tube shape, a little pink color to it. Their leaves, my leaves are getting a little wilted here, have this unique edge. So look at that. And almost all of us have them in our yard. I have an abundance of them this year. So after the heads go to seed, this is what they look like when they kind of hasn't quite opened up yet. And I just picked this little cluster in my backyard. So it kind of looked like this. All right. So what we are going to do for our dandelion shortbread is we need a half a cup of petals. So I'm going to just quick show you how to do that. I have my petals here that I snipped, but I'm going to show you how I cut those. I recommend washing the petals first um, or washing them before you cook with them. I washed this one beforehand and I tried to dry it out a little bit. I think it makes it a little harder to cut because they're still a little damp, but you just kind of get in there with the scissor. Afterwards you're going to want to pick out any of the green that you didn't use or any of the green that's in with the petals. Okay, for making the shortbread the first thing we're going to do is cream together our butter, sugar, and honey. So I broke my stick of butter up. We need one stick of butter in my bowl here. I just kind of cut it up with a butter knife into larger chunks. Then let's zoom down. So I have that in my bowl. We're gonna add a half a cup of white sugar and we're gonna add one tablespoon of honey. And then you can either use a hand mixer or if you have a larger mixer, if you have one of those big mixers, you can use that. So get the honey off. If you have a spatula, that's great. If not, use your finger and then you're gonna to wanna to wash your hands here. All right, and then we're gonna just cream that together and mix it up. All right, once it's creamed, it should be all just mixed together um, and it should be pretty spreadable with a spatula or spoon. The next thing we're gonna add is our dandelion petals. So like I briefly mentioned before, you just wanna pick out as many of the green pieces as you can. Those are a little bit more bitter. So just poke through and look and make sure you get out as many green pieces. And you want your half a cup to be a loosely packed half a cup. I'm gonna add that amount, okay? And then we're gonna turn on the mixer. All right, next we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're gonna give it another mix. Our next ingredient, we are going to add our flour and we are just going to gradually add that and mix it. So scrape down the sides a little before we add it and we'll just add a little bit and then mix it until we have added it all. All right, so we just wanna mix it until the flour is completely into the dough. We don't wanna go overboard. And just make sure you scrape off as much as you can off your beaters. All right, now that we have it all mixed, we're just gonna kind of get it into a ball in the center of our bowl here. And we're gonna end up getting this into a log shape and putting it inside of saran wrap. 
So it looks really pretty. If you can see it up close, you can see the little flower petals. A nice spring cookie. Once you have it in your plastic, we're gonna just wrap it up and roll it a little so that it's a little bit more log shaped, evenly log shaped. All right, for the next part, you're gonna take your log of dandelion shortbread and you're gonna put it in the refrigerator for at least one hour. You can do it overnight if you would rather, but at least one hour. All right, once your dough has chilled for at least an hour, we are gonna take it out of the plastic wrap and we're gonna cut it. So you're gonna cut it a quarter of an inch thick and if you wanna just kinda get rid of the end, that's fine. So these are gonna be pretty thin. And then you're just gonna make sure they're relatively round and put them on your cookie sheet and put them on your cookie sheet about an inch apart. All right, once you have them on your tray, you want to put them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees. So preheat it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you can put them in the oven. If you have parchment paper, if you want to use parchment paper, that's fine. Um, I'm doing it on my smaller tray, and I did not use it on my other tray, but make sure the cookies are about an inch apart if you can. And they will be done when the edges and the bottoms are a little bit golden brown. So you cook them between nine and 13 minutes, give them a peek at nine minutes, and kiddos, have an adult help you get them in the oven. Hello, does your house smell delicious? Mine smells really good, like dandelion shortbread cookies. All right, once you get them out of the oven, you wanna let them sit for two minutes, and then you can take them off and put them onto a cookie sheet too cool. So let them sit for two minutes and then we'll give them a taste. All right, taste test time. They're fantastic. I really love them. I've never made shortbread before, shortbread cookies before, and these are excellent. So I hope you're going to try these at home. You can kind of see the little bits of dandelion. They are fantastic. If you're making them right now, which I hope you are, you're going to love them. Grab a glass of milk or a cup of coffee or tea and enjoy your shortbread. Let me know how yours turned out or if you have any other dandelion recipes. All right, have a great day. Bye.